Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some good old Dragalia Lost. Today's video, we will be doing Nightmare for the new event. I was going to do something on Hawk, but as you can see here, I'm all out of golden toilet paper. Toilet paper, Champion's Testament, so... Can't. Hawk is really good, though. He's insane. Um, probably better than Lunio? I don't know. But let's... Let me... F we'll wait one moment. All right, here we are in Skyborn spe Spectacle, where the actual video is going to be. Voltaire's Clash Nightmare just opened up. This should be pretty easy from my standpoint, just because I don't have many buffs for this event. But um, thanks to Lin Yu and a bunch of other stuff, this should really be no problem at all, as far as I can, I'm concerned. It should be a pretty easy win. These have been getting much easier and much easier over time. So let's just jump in. I'm going into quick play, even though... You know, for this kind of stuff, it's pretty easy. Oh, I'm actually the leader. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, we'll go in here. Oh, man. Let me tell you, I have to get back into grinding this event. By the way, if you end up liking this video, please leave a like. Comment if you want to talk about what's going on. I'm currently thinking about what could be going on for the 1.5 year, because as, as of this video is releasing, we, I think we're like, what, two resets away from it happening, I believe? Um, oh, the flex. Oh. Ugh. It's extreme flexing right there. Well, let's get into it. But yeah, I don't know what to expect from 1.5 here. I know that we'll be getting some good stuff. I just don't know what kind of good stuff. Alright. Uh, let me get out of that. Uh, probably in a game mode for 1.52. I kind of want to do a speculation on it, but there's just no, like... There we go. Now here's the part where I make typhoons. Voila! Thank you. Voila! There we go. Perfectly good, perfectly good. I think I'm all out of typhoons, so I'll stop. Nope, I'm right back with typhoons now. Remember what I said? How I thought this would be super easy? I was right. Super easy. Nightmare is not so scary anymore. Nice. Good job. Good job. Omega is actually where all the scary people are. Oop. That was great practice. Thank you. But yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen for 1.5. Could be anything. Ooh, thank you. All right. But yeah, nightmare. That's kind of it. 38 seconds. Back in my day, nightmare used to be way tougher. See, there you go, and no mega keys I need to unlock to get it. Uh, Alright, so let's just grind the event now. We'll do some Voltaire slash, Flash. Clash? Yeah, create room. I literally don't care. Anyone and everyone's welcome. Yeah, events like this are easy is the easy way of putting it. I've been putting not to skip the intro because I think it's a great intro to watch. But yeah, let's, you know, while this is grinding in the background, let me tell you what I think could possibly be for 1.5 year. Um, a new event, obviously. They can't do a rerun. I feel like one of the things they'll do is probably announce a rerun of something, but of what? Maybe we might finally get Fire Emblem Heroes to come back, and if it does come back, then they can all get Mana Spirals. Because uh, of the three banner units released they're all they were all pretty good i still use fjorm on my water team um but marf has really kind of fallen on the wayside as has veronica and um alphonse who's just okay to begin with uh all things considered but definitely all of them could use some form of a buff i think releasing four mana spirals for four different elements sounds kind of nuts though so i doubt that'll happen um I can see them announcing the threes and fours that will get mana spirals and the Digi the Dragalia Digest. So if you don't know what happening, what's going to happen is that they're going to release the Dragalia Digest, and then that's where we'll get it. The thing is, is that I'm not 100% sure if maintenance equals news, though, because they have said that they're just in general trying to improve the game. Like they said, they want to improve the AI for characters who have like unique. Um, ways of fighting. Like, for example, I think the AI currently has no idea how to play with any of the chef characters. They don't know how to play with um, Lin Yu, that's for sure, because they don't know that you're supposed to make cyclones and stuff. They don't know that. 
so they never force strike. They don't know how to move around when you're playing as uh, Cerise, uh, Hunter Cerise, whose entire gimmick is that you're moving around um, while you're with a bow and arrow, but they always stay static, which is super annoying. They never move, even though they have the ability to. It's hard program for them not to. Um, so that could probably be all that it could be, but I really think that it'd be a missed opportunity not to release a Dragalia Digest. We really badly need one just because we have no idea what comes up after this, event-wise. And this can't be the only event in the entirety of the month. I feel like that's that's foolish because we have a Gala Banner that's supposed to be coming up. But other than that, it's hard to know. It's not like there's any big holiday. <sighs> I wonder who Gala Banner will be, though. Could be one of the... Um, could be one of the brothers and so or sister shell i think the current according to the dragalia website which i'm on right now the fifth heir to the dragalia throne has been unannounced so far we've got leonidas pharos yeah pharos pharos one of those two shell valix emil there's me Woki, and zethia you know we could do a zethia they could do a masked um zethia from the story That'd be pretty cool, I think. Mm. Or not. They should make not an adventurer. That'd be the coolest thing ever. If y'all don't know if you've ever seen this relationship chart chart from the Dragalia website, but you should totally do it because it's got some really funny things like, um, uh, it has like Harley and then his relationship is to the king who he's loyal to, which I'm gonna just call Bologna on that one. They have Leif who is loyal to Leonidas which at this point, like, so much for that loyalty because he's already left his son. Uh, Ranzel, who's just a mercenary, j and then just has the moniker Friends. Cleo, who is the woodland child, <laughs> also marked friend. Ilsane the Paladin, Friends, not Friends. Zethia, Friend, and also the Auspex. Appointed the Holy Auspex, and then it has Luca and Cerise, and it just says brother and sister. And under Luca, it literally just says Archer. So that's just funny to me. It's very silly. Wow. Wow, this entire chart is crazy. So let me quickly hit begin quest as people go into it. So it has like the main character in the middle and then main character obedient to and is tormented by Shell, the third hair. He is, re he reveres Leonidas and he is overlooked by Leonidas. That is how the, the literal things, um, the arrow points to him says. Uh, to Aurelius, the, the king, reveres and then expects much out of in the opposite way. Pharos views as kind, and his brother sees as talented, so it really feels like, okay, he doesn't revere him, he just thinks, oh, that, what a nice boy. And then they have Valix, the fourth heir, he reveres him, and then his brother thinks him feeble. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and then for Zethia, it just says loves, and then it goes backwards, loves. And then for the Fivir, it says has never met, and then question mark, question mark, question mark. And then for Emil, he is concerned for, and he is jealous of. Uh, as aspects, uh, Zethia has no claims to the throne, but the truth. Oh, man. That's funny. I like that Dragalia went out of its way to make something like this. It's so silly for them to do. All right. I think I've got enough of this one to go at least one more into the slightly harder one. That way I can actually play. But yeah, I'm just giving all my thoughts about what I think could be coming in for 1.5. If you got some ideas, I'm glad to hear it. I definitely think there'll be a crossover announce, a rerun of Fire Emblem Heroes I wouldn't be surprised of with new Fire Emblem characters maybe. Let's work hard together. Um, just overall like something man it's been a while since we've had free multis so i could see for maybe this gala banner they'll say hey free multis if not that it's been i think a pretty long time since we've had just free multis usually the um, they like to give them out to us but on the lead up to a big anniversary they like to like hold off on them it's really i think kind of a shame they <laughs> they should have released the information for hunter cerise at the same time as the other monster hunter dudes because i would not have gone so crazy for them if i had known Hunter Cerise was as powerful as she was. Flex. But, yeah. Alright, let's end it with this. Let's beat him down. Again, share, my th share your thoughts of whatever you got. I'm willing to listen. 
I can do this. I can do this like crazy. Do, do, save the day. I also like a, a mass bar. Oh, maybe an Aikido. They could definitely. No, it might be too soon for Aikido. But maybe a new mode or something? A new mode would be cool. And he's dead. Again, Omega is where all the difficulty is actually at. Otherwise, it's just kind of busy work trying to get to him. Crotch. Crotch shot. That was great practice. And we scored some material. That's what uh, Cerise says when she wins. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got a ticket! That's a lucky ass drop. Alright everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit like. If, uh, remember to subscribe to me if you want some more Dragalia. Or Pokemon, which is currently the two things that I seem to be mostly about my channel, is Dragalia and Pokemon. But hey, whatever. And until next time, I'll see everyone in the next uh, video. Whatever it may be. Have a good day, everyone. Bye!